My sleeve is covered in drool. Good morning. I just drooled all over my arm and I'm still wearing this shirt. You know why? Because I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I accept my drooly sleeve. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The wet, is it the weather is sweet? What's sweet? The, the weather is, I think it's the weather. I'm not sure. I will fact check. Today, the goals are, before I got out of bed, I established goals for myself, which is really, you know, can I just tell you something real quick? In Kenya, one of the things, and I'm sure this will happen time and time again, we're like, I remember something to tell you, but in Kenya, one of the things that was most different was that I didn't have Wi-Fi in my cabin. I had to go to like a very specific place where they had like limited Wi-Fi each day. So when I woke up, it was such a strange feeling to wake up and not go through my phone for like 30, 40 minutes. Cause here's like, I wake up, I'm lying in bed, I go through my emails, my Twitter, my Instagram. In Kenya, it was like my alarm went off and then get this, I got out of bed. It was the strangest thing. It was also kind of nice though, because then you wake up without that noise from social media and the world. But today I did lie in bed, but I was just thinking about that when I was lying there. I'm like, oh, it's so interesting how things, so, such a small thing can make such a huge difference. Anyways, today the goals are write four chapters, um, establish a video idea for tomorrow, which is Super Monday, because it's my first comedy video back after my hiatus, and I want it to be amazing and wonderful. I'm also gonna put my clothes away into the closet, what I said I was gonna do yesterday, and put my jewelry, jewelry away on my new jewelry holder. And it's also Rejuvenation Sunday, which means, oh, I already did my laundry yesterday. Uh, okay, I'll put my face mask, mask on today, I'll sweep, I'll Windex, Take out the garbage, we'll do those things. We'll do all the things. It's gonna be a good day. Right, Julie Sleeve? That's right. I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to ask if you're okay. My friends always feel the need to tell me things. Uh, I guess that they're just happier than us these days. I doubt it. I'm real happy. So what I'm doing now is I'm rereading the chapters that I wrote yesterday, adding things to them, tweaking them, then I print them out. Use my beautiful blue stapler that makes me very happy. I actually mentioned the blue stapler in this chapter, in this chapter, in this chapter, in this chapter, um, and then I add it to the pile. That doesn't mean it's finalized, but it means that I think it's good enough to print out and um, to review later on. And then I, I read these papers at the end of the day as well. So, boom, there's one down. I'm gonna read the other two I wrote and we're doing the thing also. Oh, I can like feel that I'm gonna get my period today. I know, right boys, can you relate? Oh, it's so annoying. And I'm just, I just, I'm just like, uh, but then I'm 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 like, there's a unicorn there. Really, everything's perfect. <laughs> But it seemed I was never on time. Ah. What is that? Why don't I change my clothes? Why are my clothes always falling off? Because we're family, that's why. On time. Uh, I want to give you some love. What up, what up, what up? I am about to take over the We Day account because it is broadcasting live on ABC We Day. And so I'm taking over the Twitter account. I'm excited to do that because I believe in the organization so much. So that's what I'm doing right now. I finished the second chapter. That's two chapters. And it is 4 p.m. right now. So, huh, killing, huh, 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 killing the game. Who got some vacation time? Who had a girlfriend too bad mine? Alrighty, done, done, finished unpacking completely. That's one thing off the list. I still gotta go through the jewelry. I got another jewelry sign because so many bracelets and stuff. Um, and I still gotta vacuum and like clean my washroom and do a little bit of rejuvenation Sunday. But I think I'm gonna take a shower. It's, it's, it's going writing. House breaks, writing, house breaks. That's how I'm dividing my breaks. Just like give my brain a break from the writing and stuff. I'm also getting hungry. Also, I like forgot that I have a car. I miss Drakkar so much. I'm gonna definitely like, find some excuse to go for a drive. I also don't have to give Drakkar a shower. It's probably so dusty, but like. <sighs> 
Oh my god. So I've been waiting. I don't remember if I showed this to you now. I don't think I have, but I've been hiding this to you forever. Unless I showed it to you, which I'm forgetting, in which case pretend like I didn't. So when I actually signed my book publishing deal, uh, my publisher sent me a lot of, of these cookies that basically, eh, eh, look, they're little books. Little book cookies and I've not opened them yet because I'm like I'm gonna save them until like I'm done writing my manuscript, which will be very, very soon. Um, but yeah, also another thing they sent me, which a lot of you have noticed, um, and I guess you thought it was because of my lipstick, but my publishers actually sent it to me, is this jar of Nutella. A lot of you are like, oh, well, of course Lily would have a jar of Nutella's decor. It says boss for when I signed the book deal. Oh, all these secrets I can tell you. Also, yeah, you'll notice all these little things in my apartment that I had to like hide from you. There was hints here all along. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. Oh my god, the struggle is real. I'm just scrolling through Instagram and on Twitter and everyone, literally everyone and their mother is at the VMAs. And one of the hardest choices I had to make, well not the hardest choice, but like you know how much I love attending award shows. And uh, when they asked me to come to the VMAs, I was like, I can't because I just got back from Kenya. It would have required me to come back home for one day and fly to New York, which is another six hour flight. And I was like, I need to work on my book. I cannot do another travel. I, I just can't. And it was so painful for me to say I couldn't attend. And now everyone is there and I have mad FOMO right now. Everyone is there, but it's fine. It's fine. It's for the book. It's for the book, Lily. It's for the book. This is a good problem. This is a good problem. And you know what? It's gonna be fine. Humble's there, Kingsley's there, Grace is there, Mamer's there, Winnie's there, Beyonce is there. <laughs> Literally, everyone is there. But it's fine. Book priority. And I will thank myself for this decision once I finish my book. So, that's what's up. Okay, I'm about to do something you've been asking me to do for so long. I'm finally doing it. I'm putting back my Twitter bio. I've been thinking about it for so long and I don't want to overthink it. I'm putting so much pressure on myself. So this is what I got. I like it. It's 50% hustler. I already messed it up. That's not what it is. It is 50% entertainer, 30% hustler, 20% unicorn, 10% bad at math. <laughs> I like it. 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 Had to meditate myself out of some FOMO just now because I was like trying to do stuff and I'm like, oh, for, I kept thinking like I want to be there, I want to be there. So I just lit my positivity candle, sat on the floor, talked to myself and I reminded myself and I really do believe positive thinking and positivity will win every single time. Just talk to yourself, be friends with yourself. When you're feeling something, address it. Be unapologetic with yourself. You know what I mean? When you feel some type of way, Embrace that. I know, I guess I'm getting deep because I'm writing chapters about this stuff, but it's about like just, no matter how you feel, it's okay. Deal, you can deal with it. Use the power of positivity. Anyways, I'm gonna stop being mad deep and sentimental. Um, it is 7.25. I am like been on Twitter and just following the VMAs through Twitter right now, but I'm gonna actually get to work and then I'm gonna go to Ralph's in a little bit to buy some cereal because I ran the cereal this morning and mostly because I wanna make an excuse to drive my car. Alrighty, finished my third chapter for the day. I saw something so scary on Twitter. Someone basically tweeted me in something that said that there was a shooting at LAX, which is the airport that I fly out of all the time in LA. Um, but I did some more research and apparently there was no active shooter. Like it was a miscommunication or something. But there's this video of people like running. I guess someone falsely like screamed shooter. But there wasn't a shooter as of right now. And I just had severe like panic and fear overtake me and then it got me thinking of like all the situations where people actually face that threat and like it's real and I was just like whew just place yourself in other people's shoes sometimes you know and realize how lucky and grateful you are but um my bra is off my salad is half done my chapters are being written that is my status update and um that's what's going on it's 9 48 p.m let go. Okay, I wrote three chapters I'm supposed to write four, but I just, my creative brain is not working anymore and I'm just staring at the page. Chase is back also. <laughs> um, and I didn't go to Ralph's, I didn't drive Jakaris, I didn't do a lot of things, but I did three chapters and I did clean my closet and put my clothes away. I didn't fix my jewelry, but I did three chapters and I put my clothes away. That's still something. That's still something.
that's something, right? Now I'm going to watch one episode of The Walking Dead, as I do, before I go to bed. Um, and my schedule is so dope, because I've been sleeping at, like, midnight, and then waking up at, like, 8, 9. Yesterday, I think I went to bed either later than midnight, but I'm waking up early, so that's something. I did that today, too. Me convincing myself. Bye! It's like not even midnight and I'm so tired. So I'm out of bed. Wake up probably at 8 or 9 tomorrow. And I get back to work tomorrow. It's also a video day. I'm gonna figure that out as well. Um, thank you for joining me on another day where I once again sat in my apartment and did not leave. Such is life and that's fine. But um, yeah, I hope you had a great stupendous day tomorrow. We gotta do some writing, some video recording. And um, what else do I gotta do? Oh yeah, that's, that's it, that's just my life. <laughs> Pretending like I have other things to do. I don't, can you imagine? I'm just like, yeah, tomorrow I have a day. I'm gonna go to a party. Oh my God, I'm just talking crap. This is Sleepy Lily talking. That doesn't actually have anything to say. And it's just like, it's so scary. That's seven days. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go to bed and shut up. And I love you. And I see you tomorrow. And if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. And don't like it, subscribe. Are you ready to see the newest addition to the lily pad? Because it's pretty freaking dope. Joe's going to put it out there. Are you ready? Hold up. Boom. Come on, come on. We gotta name this unicorn. Oh, oh, I just love it so much, it excites me. I'm gonna like bring it down and like sit in it and write my book in it and I'm so excited about it. I'm just, <laughs> I make really good adult decisions. I mean, I honestly, it's pretty messy over there. I should probably fix that.